we're here again on Alamo Square, and I'm happy to announce my new listing at 882 Grove Street. It's an absolute beautiful Queen Anne Victorian that is from 1893. This house was built by Hugh Keenan in 1893, and he became a very prominent builder. He paired up with Robert Cranston, and they were known as Cranston and Keenan, and they built some of the most illustrious blocks in San Francisco, including the 700 block of Broderick, where both sides of the street were designed uh, by Cranston and Keenan. So Hugh Keenan lived to be 89, and uh, he built this house in 1893, so relatively early in his career. And uh, there's several copycats and uh, twins, basically, to this house throughout the city. The uh, home is owned by the Joseph Pecora Trust. He bought the home in 1979, and he has been um, a very long time historian of the neighborhood. Let's take a look inside. This house is set up for gracious entertaining. Each of the rooms has a pocket door that slides it closed so that if you don't want it to be visible to guests, um, you can preclude them from seeing it. So the entry is a beautiful jewel box completely encrusted with Bradbury and Bradbury wallpapers, fretwork, a gas light, and Vaseline glass shade fixture. If you slide the pocket door, you can see the living room. Slide another pocket door, you can see the dining room. The dining room is where you would re retire to after entertaining for the evening and you would step into the back of the house for the meal. Um, it's right next to the kitchen and again, you reveal the dining room by sliding back the pocket doors. It's very exquisite and meant for awe or um, a wow factor. Dividing the living room into entertaining room and music room was a plaster colonnade. So there are pillars, columns, and then an arch. And all of the Cranston and Keenan homes have this feature. What's interesting in this house, it's a strand of ribbons and flowers. And in the other Cranston Keenan homes, there are little birds in that corner. In the 1970s, the house had been gutted of some major features. The mantle was missing, and all but one of the stained glass windows had been stolen. The current owner took the one remaining stained glass window and then copied all of the other ones to match. So although they look original, the front of the house stained glass windows are replicas and not the original stained glass. My favorite parts of the house and what I think is the most spectacular part of the house is the entryway. The owner concentrated his efforts on making this entry into a jewel box, a glittering beautiful jewel box. There's fretwork, an original gas light, and a carved oak banister that runs the full length of the house. The anaglypta has a Moroccan theme which is also very common in the Victorian era and the entire space going up to the upper levels is filled with the Bradbury Bradbury wallpaper. It has a lily pattern, which is sort of reminiscent of a peacock feather, and the colors are warm, but they also shimmer with just a little bit of gold. One of the most common complaints I get from buyers is that there's a brand new kitchen in the house that they want to buy that they have to tear out because they really don't like what was done and they feel bad wasting all those new materials. The nice thing about the kitchen in this house is that it's big, it has an eat-in area, it has a pantry, and it has been touched since the 70s. And so you can bring your best creative instincts to the house and redo it to whatever you want it to be. It's all there for your imagination. On the second floor, we find ourselves in the master bedroom. The windows face south, and you get this warm, wonderful light. There's a fireplace, a half bath, and then a little cove that is wallpapered again in the Bradbury and Bradbury. And this time, it's cattails and dragonflies. 
And that motif is echoed in the bathroom, which you'll see the original clawfoot tub with an oak surround. That wallpaper also from Bradbury and Bradbury has birds and the dragonfly again, lilies and lotuses. It's really charming and quite uh, lovely. So we've been told that this is the children's room. One of the people who lived in the house came back and told the current owner that this is where the kids played. The room is huge and it looks over the view and it has gas lights still in the wall. The pipes are still in the wall and that would have been the, the night light for at night for sleeping. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour today of 882 Grove. It was just a partial tour and if you'd like to see the entire building in its glory, please give us a call. I'm Bonnie Spindler, the Victorian Specialist. I work for Corcoran Global Living. We can show it to you at any time. It's very easy to show. Thanks so much for joining me.